we're very glad and grateful for Paul for jumping in. Paul. Great. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm going to give a prize for anybody who wants to sketch what I look like in your book at the bottom of page 28. So you can just write in Paul. It can be a happy face, can be a sketch, uh, and then uh, there'll be a prize. Uh, so I'm Paul Herman. I'm the founder of HIP Investor. HIP stands for Human Impact and Profit. Uh, and so doing good profitably, like we've been talking about, is our mission. Uh, you can think of me as the hip guy in the green tie, try and live the brand. And, uh, and so what I'm going to uh, share with you are uh, uh, two quick things. One, how to measure impact in your portfolio using Becker College, uh, which is focusing on 100% impact portfolio by the end of 2017, uh, and, uh, and then how to invest uh, in sustainable real estate. So uh, as you talk to your boards to get them on board, uh, this is a chart from Ocean Tomo that shows that of the S&P 500 today, 84% of the stock market value is intangible. It's off balance sheet. So a way to talk to your boards is, how are we measuring those intangibles? So that's what we do at HIP. You can think of us as like Morningstar for the 21st century, is a 0 to 100 rating system on 5,000 companies globally, 20,000 muni bonds nationally, and a methodology for all asset classes. And when you apply those ratings, these intangible ESG ratings, to a portfolio, uh, to individual securities, you can see that a higher sustainability rating leads to higher equity, and a lower sustainability rating is correlated with lower or even negative return on equity. And so when you, um, this is just a quick sample of some of the muni bonds, we rate uh, K-12 school districts, uh, you can see here. Uh, and so when we did this for Becker College to evaluate what's in your portfolio today, there were 24 funds. It actually had 19,000 holdings. And those 24 funds actually were nested of 67 other funds. So that's what's buried in your portfolio. And so this is a very one, uh, a simple one pager that we like to call this the bubble chart. Makes it very easy. Green is good, red is bad. Green is high sustainability, red is negative or low sustainability. Plotted on an efficient frontier, so this is the Morningstar efficient frontier, so you have risk, return, impact, and the size of the bubbles, these are all funds, and so the size is the allocation to each one. So this is a way to communicate the impact and the financial performance all in one slide. And it's also, this is the underlying data where you can call out what are the fees and, uh, and how that works. Uh, you can also analyze what's in your portfolio. So in Becker's portfolio, there's actually 282 bonds and equities of Bank of America. So when you think about engaging with a company, this is what's buried, might be buried in your portfolio. So their goal and their investment policy statement, I'm happy to share this with you, is uh, to be 100% impact oriented by the end of 2017. So if there's fund managers with strategies that want to snap into that, let me know. So the second thing I want to talk about is sustainable real estate. So today, um, and, and Brian just covered this on the private side, for public equities, uh, you cannot um, uh, easily find a fund, uh, which is why we created an SMA, uh, to invest in a pool of uh, sustainable REITs. And so we rate the REITs on a number of factors, including the proportion of their square footage, uh, so again, measurable, um, uh, uh, measurable performance. And we compare companies like Jones Lang LaSalle versus Well Tower versus Equity Commonwealth. And the ones that rate highly go in the portfolio, and the ones that rate low are excluded from the portfolio. And what this has done is create a, a yield-based uh, portfolio, about 4% on average, with a four and a half year track record, with a tracking error of less than 200, uh, tracking error under two, with above average sustainability, half the carbon intensity of the S&P 500, and twice the transparency of the real estate benchmark. So if you want a high confidence, sustainable real estate portfolio as part of your allocations, this is something that you might consider. So we've written a HIP investor book. Uh, it's in 26 university curricula, so feel free to check that out. It tells you how to do good profitably. And then we've also authored this uh, resilient pensions and fossil free portfolios. Um, so lots of information to share and educate with your board. Thanks. Thank you, Paul.